Thanks, Portis. Kusus. Kusus. Good morning. Getting ready for Easter in two months. The Romanian style. Miss Pathetic. Good morning. I don't understand. I don't understand where this came from. <laughs> this is so disgusting. <sighs> Gosh. Have to get gas after yesterday's thing with lunch. I'm going to get just get go food. I barely trust them to not have cockroaches in my food. Being tired doesn't help. I was, um, I'm doing pretty good. If I could just go to bed early, early enough, even if I could just go to bed by midnight, I'm, I'm one of those people who just need someone. Maybe I do need a roommate. A roommate who goes to bed early. Friends, March 31st. Make an appointment at hrblog.com. It's refund season. Hello, hello. Come get your money. Except for one hundred dollar minimum. Four geese. Oh, so cute. Aww. And a squirrel. <laughs> Spring is here. It is so nice and warm and toasty in my in my car. It is not so nice and warm and toasty outside my car. It is quite cold. So another day off to see my therapist and then editing ooh, these dailies. It was a bit depressing editing them last night I mean it was it's depressing and at the same time it makes it better seeing that I was there and myself with different eyes it's as if I'm watching someone else go through it and I feel compassion and I feel sad for that person and I feel bad that she went through that I'm happy to be making these now uh, but I'm also excited because I just realized I had started this website called positive spirit it was a very test site I wanted to do an interactive kind of component where people would sign up or kind of create a community of positiveness there's a lot of fitness things out there there's a lot of fitness there's a lot of oh my gosh there's so many diet websites not so much mindfulness I just really wanted to create a community for really my sake for support that I don't get right now from people because I don't have friends who are into this I can have a buddy system of working out or a buddy system of did you drink all of your eight glasses of water or five glasses of water. It's not about people needing to adhere to certain rules or adhering to certain diets or exercise program or believe it or not, I drink a bottle of 16 ounces per day of liquid. <laughs> My own path to, to YouTube or to what I want to do with this little bit of freedom that I all, all of a sudden found that I have. I think we need parodies Mondays more than we need Fridays. Like Fridays, everyone's almost pretty much happy as it is. I'm trying to not get there. That's why I'm doing all these videos and keeping busy because I was dreading the weekends. I was excited for the weekends for a month when I was with age. And then now I'm dreading the weekend. I don't really care to spend them by myself. Like, I don't really need to go out and hike. Great cockroach, 6.35, 5.35. I don't know, it looks cool though. <laughs> but I understand if you if you dread the weekends, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> to me, if you're planning your time off, that's pretty sad. Like you're supposed to be like, oh my gosh, it's the weekend, I have no plans, what are we doing? Like <laughs> you're, that's your free time, that's your playground time, that's your, it's your you time. So like enjoy it, don't like, plan it up. I have to say though, I'm a planner. I may not sound like one, especially in this moment, but I plan a lot. I need my planning. So 
I just, I, I want to say yes, I understand if you're a planner and an organizer and you need everything planned and organized and that's your comfort zone. I'm not critiquing how you should live your life. I'm not saying you should live your life this particular way. I'm just saying when you're a kid, I doubt you planned out your play dates. So that's all I'm saying. I'm saying that when you have free time, you should not plan it out. This is not a competition of who visits the most country. So don't plan it. Just like get to the weekend and be happy for the weekend. Whichever your weekend is. Like for some people, weekends are Monday and Tuesday or, you know, this is not a competition. You're not competing with me at how much you lived your life. That's why I like being off Facebook because I don't have to compete with anyone's travel pictures, travel albums, travel plans, babies they make, weddings they attend, being scared that he will post or he has th stuff he's doing and he'll post it on Snapchat and I want it to be cool too and I want it to be in the metro parks, do you know donuts in the parking lot or something, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't really know what he does. That just made me miserable in the end because yeah I could say oh I did it all but I was so concerned with posting them, how can I not get left behind, how can I not look pathetic. As I was editing yesterday, I realized I say talking instead of speaking a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to correct that. I, I'm going to work on that. However, I do feel in this moment, I do feel that I am looked upon as pathetic. And I'm going to own up to that. I feel I'm pathetic. So instead of trying to ignore it, I'm just going to own up to it, admit it, put it out there. Red tail hawk! Why oh, so cute? Oh, little hunter. So when when you'll hear me stop using the word pathetic, you'll I will be happy that it means that I'm not trying to just bury it under the rug. I would act I would have actually changed by then. And I won't need to use it because I won't feel that way. It's not that I am faking it until I'm making it. So that's that's how I treat life and we'll see how that will go for me but that's how I want to try it out at least. Uh, so yeah, so therapy, eating, editing dailies, getting a game plan going. I'm excited. Tomorrow's Wednesday. This song doesn't make any sense by the way. Let's not get even started on the video. The video though is cool because it's cool looking. I am guilty of liking that digital clean look. I'm sorry. This is the only reason, honestly, hands down on whatever you feel like, I don't know, law book, Bible, whatever. This is why I want to see, and I couldn't wait to see, what was it? Wait, Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't even know the name. I never read the book. Proud to say that. I tried. I'm proud to say that I tried. To say the stuff and the crap that she says in there is just like something else. Like, I don't know, it, feminism, what feminism? And two, the thing that bothered me most was that the writing was horrible. Twilight was amazing writing compared to Fifty Shades of Grey. I really, really, really wanted to see Fifty Shades of Grey. The reason is because of the trailer amazingly gorgeous that rendition of crazy in love coming from film school i was just i just landed back in the u.s and it was just it was just gorgeous and amazing um and i really wanted to see it for that reason for the music and the look of it i don't like anything that makes up fizzy sound when you open like a can of something what it means to me is like stomach acid thursdays i'm going to do music video original music video i think the reason i want to do the parodies are not because they're easy at all and like they have amazing parodies cool topics even then i think it's just if you find the right team it's just incredible today i had a meeting for example and it was a meeting to teach me sort of something that I'm going to help this person teach other people and I never get it so I was so excited like if I would do almost anything just as long as I could be a team parody Monday topic Sunday Thursday original music video Saturday Saturdays will be so far will be thoughts of the dog 
Work, 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 work. Work, dirt, 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 dirt. Where I wanna know. I just stopped. So the topics on Sunday have kept me consistent. I didn't want to do it this week at all. I had it planned out. I had I had everything written out, but I was just in such a depressed mood. I didn't feel like doing it. And I wanted to do a lot of, of other stuff, like editing the dailies. I wanted to write songs. I wanted to play around with other things. And so I, I so easily do that. I pick up a new hobby or a new interest. I change interest all the time. But I think it's very important to, even if you change interest, to just stick with something. So I'm very, pr I'm so proud of myself for doing that this past Sunday to just get up, not wanting to, but get up and just go downstairs and just record my, my rant. And oh wow, that squirrel who was inching away Coming this way, it ran so fast going that way. It got scared of something because it's twitching its tail. Is this, oh, this is, huh. Mm, I kind of want to go to Walmart and get some Easter colors on sale and Easter stuff to film it in the dark because it's a lot of darkness in a church with candles at one point. That's basically how it is. What I'm dreading more once I'll start having to do all the things on my list. Once I'm caught up with all these dailies, I'm dreading that more because it will have to be more creative work and that will take much more time to come up with the stuff and not just executing things but also making the plan no matter what and I don't want to go and think too much in the future because it's not about a goal I'm doing this just for doing it's sake because this I, I love this song before H but I think he likes it too because he was singing at one point I think gonna wind up dead needle in the bed get you out of my head get you out of my head you watch me bleeding till i can't breathe shaking falling down to my knees and i'll be well, kissing i'll be needing stitches looking over myself aching calling me to come out <laughs> Kisses, I'll be needing stitches without your kisses. I'll be needing stitches. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. To get any outcome, you're just doing this to do this, period. And that's pure bliss. And that's what I want. Just wanted to kind of say that. Yes, I'm still in my car. It's, yeah, I was texting. <laughs> it's 12.25. I just finished editing March 13th. I already edited March 11, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10 to 20 minutes of me <laughs> crying and all that stuff. So, fun times. Also, I do feel a lot different now than I did when I was recording these. If I could tell my past or future self who feels really sad and alone and heartbroken, I just want to give her a mental hug. I just want to hug myself. That's all I needed. You can do You just can talk it out and let it out and then hug. So, yeah. So tired. Peace, love, and compassion. Is it desire?